Claude just introduced a new update called Projects and it's my favorite update they've ever had. And this is the first time I've ever considered leaving ChatGPT for Claude because previously, one of the biggest things I used inside of ChatGPT was custom GPTs. So those are little mini GPTs that you could customize with your own set of instructions, with your own knowledge base. And we use that across my companies all the time. Projects does basically what that did for ChatGPT and it has some really useful options. Let me show you some practical applications. And then I build a free tool too, to help you kind of set up the custom instructions for Claude that I'll share with you in this video. Now, let me quickly show you the pricing because Claude projects only comes in the pro plan and the team's plan. So you do have to upgrade from the free plan. The free plan does give you Claude 3.5 sonnets and you could still upload images and docs and interact with those but it will not have this projects options that I'm about to show you. Okay, now to try projects, you may see it right in the middle of the page, it says introducing projects, or you could go ahead and open up the side panel here and go to the projects tab from here. And here, right on top, it says create a project. So we're gonna create one from here. Your previous projects will show up over here and they have a test project called how to use Claude, but we're gonna create one here from scratch and I'll show you some practical use cases for these. Okay, so the first page is right here. It says create your personal project. And if you have a team's plan, you could actually share those projects with those team's plan. When you have it and you create these by yourself in the pro plan, which only has one person in it, you can actually share these. So that's really more intended for the team's plan. What are you working on and what are you trying to achieve? Right here, these two boxes are a way to basically label it. These are not gonna give it any type of instructions or anything like that. That's gonna come in the next page. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this out. And here I'm just gonna call it summarizing text and this is gonna summarize text into a single paragraph in my own voice. Then I'll show you how to work with knowledge bases too after I show you this example. I'm gonna create this project. Okay, now we're inside the project. So the very first thing we could do is on the right side here, we have two things we could do with these type of projects. One is this project knowledge, we could actually add things to our knowledge base. So those could be Word documents, PDFs, any type of file to use for this bot to use as a reference to give you an answer. So I'm gonna show you exactly how this works in the very next example. This example is gonna use what's called custom instructions. So if you're familiar with ChatGPT, they've had this for a long time too, and they have it inside of their custom GPTs. So here we could do the exact same thing. I'm gonna press this and it says right here, this is optional. So you actually don't have to use it. Many people are only gonna use this for basically being able to provide a set of knowledge for this specific bot here, this specific AI that we're building called projects. But I really wanna show you these custom instructions because what you wanna do is you usually wanna have custom instructions and a knowledge base. So it would know how to pull in your specific data, but actually how to reply to you too. So that's what the instructions tells you. And basically here, you could see some examples. It says use professional tone. So that's a custom instructions you could give. You usually would give that to your prompt if you're not using these type of projects. Use concise and simple wording, you're an expert. And then this is kind of basic prompting over here that I've made a ton of videos about before. Now I built this custom GPT right now because custom GPTs, unlike those Claude projects, are available to everyone. Free users could use these too, they just can't build them. So I built this one and the job of this one is just to create custom instructions. So if you're not really sure exactly how to do those custom instructions, this should help you kind of create a template that you could refine. So the project was summarize text in my own tone, right? So that's basically what you wanna put, what you were trying to do with that. And then just press enter here. That's all you have to type is that very basic prompt. And then this is basically going to take my instructions, how I build this custom GPT, and I have different videos and courses on custom GPTs, but this says you are an AI model specializing summarizing text while maintaining the original author's tone. And then it's gonna kind of give you a template here. You could remove things if you want, you could go ahead and maintain some of the things that it already gives you. And I could go ahead and copy and paste it and give it some sample. In this case, it's using the original author's tone. But it really depends what your first sentence is, but it should follow this kind of template. So then I could just copy and paste this and use this inside of Claude. So I'll link this below in the description. This is just a free custom GPT that I've built for the specific video. So you could go ahead and use it. And then I just have to paste that custom instructions over here. Obviously using that custom GPT is optional. You could just type in your own set of custom instructions. 
And this is just really a template, so you could actually refine it as much as you want. You don't have to use it exactly as is and just save it from here. And in a few seconds, I'll show you how to add these knowledge bases with our very next example. On the left side here, you could first choose your model. Typically, you want to use the best model. So right now, that's Claude 3.5 Sonnet. So that's the very first one. Then you want to click this little option right here and make sure Artifacts is turned on. I've covered this in different videos, but Artifacts are a really nice way to get the output like tables or even code if you're writing code on the right side while the prompting takes place on the left side. Really good visual presentations and it saves these in kind of different chunks for you. So make sure that is turned on, makes the user experience a whole lot better. Then what you can do is you could also add content. Now, if you add content here, this is not adding content to your knowledge base. This is just if you want to interact with things inside of this chat and ask specific documentations questions. So you could actually use these in combinations. This is to analyze documents that you could just upload here, five maximum. The knowledge base is a whole different thing. So I just want to make sure that's clear. Okay, now let's go ahead and use this because now that we have that custom instruction that could write and summarize text like me, all I would do is let's say I want to summarize this text. Let's say I want to post it on LinkedIn. I'm going to copy it. Assuming this set of instructions gave this projects the right tone and basically taught it how I would speak, I could just copy and paste that here and go ahead and ask it to summarize this. And basically what Claude is going to do is going to give me the summary but it's going to use my custom instructions to do it. So this is the reason why you would build these projects in the first place. Because if I talk to the regular Claude or regular ChatGPT, every single time I have to go ahead and find the right prompt or type out the right prompt, teach it my writing style, then get it to give me output based on that writing style or based on that huge prompt that I would give it every single time. These projects create a very specific task that you could repeat all the time without doing anything, right? I didn't have to give it any examples. I didn't have to give it any writing styles. I didn't have to give it any type of tone. I just set that as a custom instructions and it would do it every single time. Now this one, I would have to tweak a little bit. So I usually with these, when I build them in custom GPTs, if I build them here in projects, what I would do is I would see the output. And in this case, I want to make some tweaks to make it really good. So then it literally will save me hours a week. I just copy and paste text and then repurpose it however I want. Okay, let's build our next one here. That's gonna take a knowledge base. So I just went back to the side panel to projects and this is gonna be a company wiki. So I could upload all the documents from our company and then people could interact with it. Now to do that, I have to upgrade to the Teams plan. So then I could invite team members into it. We're using ChatGPT Teams right now. So I may consider just moving over here if this works exactly like I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and create this project and I could do the same kind of things this time since I showed you custom instructions here. This time I'll just make a real simple one. Use concise and simple wording. That's all I'm gonna do. Again, custom instructions are actually an optional step. You don't have to use them. But now I wanna add content. So I could drop it over here or I could click add content and upload it. So let me upload it. You have two ways to do that. You could upload from your own device. So in this case, my computer would upload anything that I have saved or you could actually add text here too. And this other way is you could just give something a title and copy and paste any type of content or just type in your own content over here and then add it that way. I'm gonna show you the other way, which is probably most of us have PDFs and Word docs and things like that, code bases, we could upload those from here. And here's basically the folder. There's about 10 or 12 different documents over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select all these and add these to my knowledge base. And as you could see, as it's adding them, it creates this really nice progress bar showing you how much of your knowledge base that you're using, so the knowledge size. All these documents, and some of these are pretty long, only 5% used, so that's fantastic. That means you have a huge window here. You can just press I here to learn more about that. And if you hit the limit, if you go over 100%, it won't let you actually save it. So right now I'm nowhere near 100%, but I have been able to upload huge data files and it has hit 100% if I've done it that way. So right now, 5%. So what you could do now is this is my company wiki. And if I share this with my team, let's say someone is curious about things in the employee handbook or about our social media policy or remote work policy. Let's actually find out what our remote work policy is. And there we go. Skill Leap AI's work policy is employees could work remote, either full-time or part-time, hybrid. Okay, so this is directly from 
that document, it looks like it's not putting a reference to that document though. And what you could also do is if you want to rename that chat, you could go ahead and rename it from up here. And let me go ahead and delete that document. Let's see, what is our work policy? Now, once I removed it, it says based on the documents provided, there is no specific remote work policy, but it pulled things from the employee handbook, it looks like. So I could actually tell it not to do that in the set of instructions. If you don't have an answer, say I don't have an answer. You could give it something very specific. That's where the set of instructions come in for specifically these type of use cases. Now here's an example that I use for this very video that I'm creating right now. What I did was I was trying to come up with a title for this video and basically I just called a YouTube title generator, but obviously it doesn't have to be on YouTube. I don't have to post this on YouTube. But what I could do is I could take my documentation right here. So I give it this documentation. Let me click on it. This is a CSV file and it has, I got this directly from my YouTube dashboard. And all it is, is a bunch of different video titles I have. And then I uploaded that right over here. And I said in my custom instructions, which I used my GPT for, you're an AI model tasked to generate engaging and optimized YouTube titles you will analyze the project knowledge of all the previous titles to generate titles in similar tone and theme. Okay. And then I said, create a title for this video. And then just the very first thought I had was Claude's new upgrade called projects. And if I just press enter there, it has my custom instructions. It has the knowledge base. And there we go, Claude 3.5 projects, the game changing AI updates you can't miss. Pretty good. And this one's pretty good. Claude 3.5 just got even better introducing projects. I might use this exact one here, but after a couple back and forth, I'm going to find whatever the title of this video ends up being using this specific project, right? So you could see very practical applications. Obviously, you might not be making videos, right? This is more specific to me, but just about every task you could think of that you do throughout the week, think of it this way. Can a project help me? Can having a specific set of instructions and a specific set of knowledge base save me time from either using ChatGPT, doing it manually, having to prompt it every single time? Can I just create a project, jump into that every single time? I need to do that very specific tasks and do it very quickly, keep refining it till it gets really, really good. And since we have projects inside of Claude now, the only reason I wasn't switching away from ChatGPT was those custom GPTs. I will make a video comparing custom GPTs to Claude's projects to see actually what the limitations of both are. Is it actually worth switching if you're already using a paid version of ChatGPT and building custom GPTs to go over to Claude? Use a better model right now with Sonnet 3.5 and take advantage of projects. And I'm also putting together a comprehensive Claude course now because Claude is now, I think, actually beating ChatGPT, not only in a better large language model, but in this application of projects too, so far. Now, this is my early testing, but I wanna make a comprehensive course. So I'll put that here on skillleap.ai. If you're not familiar, we basically have a library and a membership. So you get access to over 20 AI courses. Claude is going to be one of them, but we have all kinds of different courses on the top AI tools. I think 24 different courses right now. We add new courses. So this is a membership. So it's kind of a really low price subscription to get access to everything. And it also has a community. So you could talk to me, other people, well over a thousand people there that you could interact with inside of our community as well. Ton of different resources and things that I just can't provide here on YouTube. So I'll go ahead and link that in the description if you wanna learn more about how that works. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next video where I'll compare custom GPTs to Claude projects. I'll see you then.